Hello and welcome to my podcast, Conversations with Cornelius, where I, Cornelius Patrick O'Sullivan, discuss, chat and hypothesize on all things from fatherhood, marriage, comedy and everything else in between. From time to time, there will be special guests, but mostly it's going to be me and some regular contributors, including my main squeeze, Noel Patricia O'Sullivan, a.k.a. The Wife. So sit back, relax and enjoy Conversations with Cornelius! Do 20 minutes. Uh, Alright, guys, we're back for the second part of the World Cup. <laughs> part of intro, uh, it? The intro. I'm not telling you what to do. Uh, this, is, this is a new podcast. My name is Cornelius, and uh, we're going I'm, I'm back in the same area as I was five minutes ago, which is Dom. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about my second podcast, and I need to take a quick tinkle there. Is that right? Oh, oh. Tinkle yeah, yeah, yeah. Tinkle tinkle away. Away. Can, can I bring the mic in? Yeah, bring the mic in. Yeah, just bring the mic in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I swear, Sully, if I hear splashing. A master of sound will ever be splashing. Um, yeah, so that we, we this is our second podcast. We're literally after finishing one podcast, um, but it was too long. It went on too long. We just did the intros and we started doing... Uh, or not long enough. Or not long enough. Well, it was like 48 minutes long and we were waffling on. And, t- and we want, I want to do a proper podcast on the World Cup. So, so let's go for a piss. So I'll just talk, I'll ask you first, Tom, um, what does the World Cup mean to you? I suppose my, my relationship with the World Cup started in 1998 in France. I wasn't there. <laughs> but I was watching it on the television. Mm. I had a wall chart with all the games on it, and I was like, I'm going to follow this World Cup now. Putting in the in scores after each detail, one. Putting in the scores, watching all the games. The original Fat Ronaldo was, was like my oh, idol. Yeah. Um, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe I said anything He funny. never went on Piers Plowman. He never went on Piers Plowman. He had Plowman. a few Plowman no. sandwiches, though, I'd say. <laughs> all I heard with was extra one, cheese. One too many. The first word I heard was Fat Ronaldo. <laughs> The original, so he's back so from his pace. Um, but that, that's Manning kind of where well. I fell in love with the magic of the World Cup. And ever since then, it's been a kind of progressive slide into to kind of Anarchy. apathy yeah. towards it, unfortunately. So 98 it peaked and it also... Peaked. 2002 was great, watching the games down in the Black Rock Inn. You know, yeah. watching them really early. And we in the were morning. in that one, weren't we? We were in two thousand two. We, we were, were in two thousand two. That was kind of Robbie Keane and Damien Duff and all that, and Saipan, Saipan. obviously. We did a podcast. Well, on I that. don't know why I look at Ty. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I think of Saipan, it's it's Hag, I associate <laughs> Saipan. Ty, with what's him. your memory of World Cup? What's your uh, my first World Cup was nineteen ninety. I suppose I remember that. I'd mm. be lying if I said I remember Mexico eighty six. I'd like to, but I don't. Uh, yeah, my first memory is I think my my first main memory is my my dad. Uh, jumping up and kind of half crying shouting and roaring and just being delighted when she equalized against England it's a very clear memory like and I was like fucking he's what a banger really, of a goal uh, as well like. <laughs> really <laughs> passionate about scoring against England <laughs> but um, yeah and then like th- the first kind of letdown was like so excited like we're going to hammer Egypt now I'd say and then it was like this dour fucking nil all keep, kept passing it back you know the way they had to change the rule over us like <laughs> yeah. you couldn't pass it back to the goalkeeper because yeah. we'd bonner fucking killed out but a horrific game and Dunphy losing his shit then and stuff so yeah but I was hooked hooked on international football after that actually in a way that I never quite got that passionate about club football really yeah. there's something different about supporting international football alright yeah it's like you can't buy players you like you know you can have a few you can get in a few like the rice and the Grealishes kind of the the grandparent rule but like by and large yeah. you, you have who you have like you know like Norway have Halland now and they have Odengard like g- generational players like yeah. imagine mm. if we do those two in our like you could build you could put nine knobs around them like you yeah, know yeah. and you could still be in with a chance so what's yeah. your earliest memory of um, World Cup yeah I'm an Italia 90 uh, kid as well and I just remember the kind of like I was nine at the time mm. like so it was like Utter excitement for me, like I actually, like it's one I was just kind of overjoyed that we were involved, and like I remember just sp- spilling my seven up during the uh, <laughs> during the um, the penalty shootout, <laughs> and like it was it was kind of a uh, like uh, it was uh, like uh, that summer as well was a uh, uh, cork won the dough. It was like it's yeah. been yeah. it's been downhill since there, you know, yeah. and life you, well it's picking up again <laughs> now. Like, you know, you know, so like I, I thought you were a bonus territory. No, like man. as in I've just come into bonus territory. <laughs> but like, I, now, like I, 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 my, my picture, I, I got my f- photo taken with the the two cops that same year. You know, like um, they went uh, to every house in Cork, like the, didn't they the double. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was brilliant. Um, but like so, it was, it was kind of like the, there was all these kind of brilliant kind of players. Um, you know, the Italian team, like all these. Maldini Baggio. and Donadoni and Dino. yeah, like um, Costa Corta. 
uh, all all those players, and it was kind of really exotic. Scalacci, of course. It's really exotic because nobody had ever been to Italy, and then all the cameras they're they're yeah. in the cafes, and mm. do you know, and then it was just the excitement during the games as well was just it's incredible. Where credit like, unions really came into their own. Yeah, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and we and didn't know that we had been shit as well. So yeah, for, for, yeah, for our generation, we yeah. were just like, oh, geez, Ireland are really competitive. Yeah, like, yeah. Everyone, yeah. no one wants yeah. to play us. Like that was an yeah. amazing. And we played terrible football, but we didn't care because oh, we, yeah, yeah. we didn't know what good yeah. football was yeah. though. Really, like you know. Oh. And the um, the goals, the, like obviously the Egypt thing, all right, was a, a, bit, a bit of a downer, and the, the Romania match was kind of. I just remember it kind of going into extra time and it was just there's nothing really happening you know but there was the excitement of the penalty shootout is all you remember then and then the game in Rome against um, Italy. Italy was it was almost like kind of a dream come true thing like even though we lost there was still we really held our own and we, we, we could have we, we could have yeah. taken like it was probably Paul like, McGrath's yeah. goal remember like remember that, yeah. that goal he got against him and it was obviously offside yeah. that's Holland you're thinking of Holland, Holland in 94 did we score against the Italians as well didn't no we? Yeah. Didn't he? no not 1990 yeah. no Sorry, and the, there was that the, the other interesting thing was there was at the end of the Holland game when both teams had qualified there was the kind of nod and the wink between the two captains yeah. To kind, of, yeah, and we were kind just, of just pass it yeah. around like that and was weird looking back um, yeah, it was kind of yeah. the magic yeah. has kind of gone out of it my, my earliest yeah. memory is uh, I remember the 86 World, World Cup alright I remember Gary Lineker prick scoring with uh, scoring a hat yeah. against yeah. Poland with the, yeah. the cast in his hand, but he was an Everton striker at the time as well. So right. that's my own mixed emotions. Whoa. Mixed emotions. Yeah. But I do remember the hype of Maradona in that. In that oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I was about maybe eight, seven or eight around then when that was out, and the hype around the globe for Diego Armando yeah. Maradona. Yeah. So mm. like you superstar. Like. Just be in the school playing soccer and trying to emulate everything that he did. And like <laughs> we only saw the work. There was football is wall to wall now. It's on yeah. every TV station. But I think sometimes when you only get a glimpse of something, totally, you cherish it then. Like it's way yeah. better, isn't it? Like? And it's burned in the retina. Yeah. Well, like. yeah, like there's nobody that can convince me that if he was around today, that he wouldn't be in the same ilk as <laughs> Liam Brady. Not, not fit to <laughs> lace up Brady's boots. I've got someone. <laughs> Guys, I've got all the groups here, right? And I've got Perfect. All the, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out the groups and the teams in it. And will you go up and take one when your name's called out? And no. Uh, no, <laughs> no, 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 close. I have a salmon-coloured ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call out the teams, and then I'm going to... I'll ask you all then for your predictions in the group. I'd like to take Group E. Okay, Group E. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll well, get to that. We're doing all groups, are we? We're all, we're all no, predicting I'm just, each I'm group. Just Pinning my my oh that's right. the group that's setting my star and I want to talk about Group oh, E. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well we'll we'll start with Group A. <laughs> we'll start with Group <laughs> yeah, A yeah. anyway. Uh, Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, and the Netherlands. I think it's Qatar. <laughs> Qatar. <laughs> Qatar. Qatar. I, I, I have breaking news. Oh my god! That I got from my phone there. Apparently, the Qatari government or the team, wh- whoever's funding them, tried to bribe the some Ecuadorian players to the to the tune of seven point four million dollars to lose door. the game one nil. Are you serious? Are you really? I'll see. I'll see. I'll, I'll see what the report is here. Holy wow. shit! And wow. I would not be surprised. Oh, you heard it here first game. on okay. conversations with Cornelius. Oh my god! Reported from Amjad Taha, exclusive Qatar. Taha. Bribe. He's got a blue tick. He's got a blue tick, guys. <laughs> exclusive you only Qatar. Paid eight for it. <laughs> paid eight quid for it. <laughs> 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 Qatar bribed eight Ecuadorian players seven point four million US dollars to lose the opener one nil. In the second half, uh, five hell, Qatari man. and Ecuador insiders confirmed this. We hope it's false. We hope sharing this will affect the outcome. The world should oppose FIFA corruption. This Hashtag well, I wouldn't be surprised. Cup. Cup. Oh. I would not be surprised if, that, if that's true. The, the World Cup is ruined. It's really, ruined. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then somebody's well, taken it's the piss out of me owned, in, in the next comment saying, "Dominic McHale, did you get one of those?" Uh, giant World Cup game posters with this month's issue of Shoot magazine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I actually have my po- oh. I have a poster up on my phone there, is that? Because it was. Oh, nice. yeah, I, I remember having match. Yeah. Do you remember match? match. Yeah. The match. night that Ireland oh. qualified. If you couldn't afford Shoot, yeah, you, you got match. Oh, shoot was shit. I shoot thought. Shit. I always I got a bit match. of humour. Shoot like. the yeah. shit. Shoot. Shoot. shoot the shit. Yeah, there was. A, there was. Can a, I just finish there? Sorry. Yeah. Match the night that Ireland qualified for the '94 World Cup and all the other home. It was the happiest day of my life because all the other nations got knocked out. England and. From that's, right. that's right the there, there, there was oh, an issue yeah. of it was either shoot or match magazine that had andy townsend on the front cover at it. i think it was the 94 world cup but he had bleached hair <laughs> and my <laughs> siblings what? managed to convince me that he had a twin brother called randy townsend the magazine cover in fact had randy townsend, <laughs> randy townsend. That's, <laughs> that was going for years like, to I be a wrestler it. like Dom, <laughs> gonna have, i'm gonna have to press you for an answer Qatar. Okay. Ecuador, Hata. Senegal, Netherlands. Two to come out of that group. There's uh, allegations of bribery going on. Yeah. 
you'll have to factor that into your decision. The the obvious money would be on on the Netherlands and Senegal to come out of the group. Yeah. Ecuador are apparently not a bad side. Very yeah. physical. Mane is out for for the World Cup oh, as is well. He, is yeah. he yeah. Definitely he's out. out. Oh, that changes oh, everything. Yeah. The Netherlands they actually aren't a great side this year. They have very good defenders. Apparently, mm. they're going to play five at the back. Mm. Van Gaal is going to play five at the back because they have several good defenders. Like, they're prediction. lacking the strikers. I'm, I'm still going to go with. Netherlands to top the group, followed by Senegal. Okay, I'll, same question. Qatar Ty- not to win oh, any the same games. Group Qatar not to win any games. Correct. What? Oh, dude, Qatar versus Other than Ecuador? by bribery. Oh, <laughs> no. No, I, I say the Ecuador races, is still going to win the game. Fuck it, I hope Ecuador just throw it back at them. Who's your... Well, races, who the four again? So, Qatar, yeah. Ecuador, Senegal, Netherlands. I'm just going to put it out there. I think Ecuador are going to qualify in second place. Okay. I think the Dutch, the Dutch will piss the group, and I think the Dutch will be in the final. I'm Wowzers! He's, he's, he's fond. Don't, he's fond of the Dutch. Luis I've Luis always been fond of the Dutch. All right, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. But I think um, in, in terms of they don't have a massive t- superstar striker, but the pie uh, for the yeah, uh, yeah. country, There's plenty of the pie. It's sensational. Yeah, yeah. It's sensational. <laughs> it's sensational. <laughs> they have a lot of good players. Mm, yeah, I like so the shape. Slice of the pie. They so don't have an amazing shape at the back. All right, if they're still playing, I think they're playing. at the back. They've got your man. Did Leeds and Van Dijk? If Van Dijk is fit, they've got that Leicester centre half as well. Who's very good. United fullback Malassi and Daly yeah. Blind as well. They're all they Who's might be squad players. They're, they're a 29 um, year old goalkeeper, actually. I believe it's Edwin van der Sar. <laughs> no, he's not. That's a joke. Sully, who's gonna who's gonna um, talk to the group? I who's like I think the Netherlands will be they'll they they'll probably they'll definitely scalp someone big along the way because um, Van Gaal like he'll be boring Rory. but he'll be Rory. boring but effective like he effective, see, yeah. he went he won the FA Cup w- with Man United with not a great squad well, so like, like I think they will be pretty you, pretty decent I'm and have to push I would for say an uh, Netherlands and I am going to go with Qatar because they're obviously just splashing the cash Ooh. Well, I, Qatar I, Qatar via bribery <laughs> I'm going to go I, cause I tell you I watched a lot of Senegal I, I watched I watched there when they won the the African Nations last year and then um, they also beat Egypt to qualify for this. Mm. Egypt didn't come out. So, uh, no, Mane was their main striker, and the he's main he was That's their main Mane, like. and he is huge. But they actually have a lot of good players. Like they've yeah. got a good decent. They, so I'm going to go Senegal to actually top the group with the whoa. Dutch to come whoa. second. Whoa, so, okay. yeah. whoa, whoa! Russia. With no Mane, yes. you're a brave buddy. Yeah. I just you're think they're a, a team, buddy. though. Going yeah. back to what we were talking about earlier on, I think they're a team. No, he is their talisman. Deep. And he's big yeah. loss. Well, the so Dutch can always beat themselves as well. And that's the Dutch yeah. Sure, yeah. like, yeah. Well, but but just, yeah, I'm I, not sure. I, I don't know anything about Qatar at all. They're supposed to be. Well, uh, they have a lot of cash, I did, a, I did a tiny bit of research on Qatar, and they're supposed again. They've had so much money pumped into the local game that they're meant to be more competitive than you'd expect. Yeah. So I have read. Right against us. And so they're yeah, playing yeah. at home, and they're used to the conditions. It's a home home yeah, team. You have to. Have we figured out that one mystery player that Tig knows them? No, I, what I was actually thinking of a fella who used to play with Case and Celtic. So yeah, I'm, I'm all over different fella. Yeah, yeah. black he's hair. He's so forties now. <laughs> so we, we're moving on to Group B, it's right? The end, like so. And this is an interesting group. I think we'll all be uh, oh, agree geopolitically. Yeah. Uh, it, oh, yeah. it, like the big hitters in the world, we've got the English, we've got the Iranians. We got the USA, and then we've got the lowly Welsh. Let's just say three of them have nukes. Well, there's, <laughs> n- there's nothing lowly about Wales. I knew. I just did yeah, that because I, I wanted. I yeah, wanted that reaction. Yeah, I wanted yeah, that. Yeah. Westminster's forcing them to be lowly, but yeah. so uh, I asked Tom to start there. So Why I'm don't gonna they leave the union then. I'm gonna ask. They're gonna. <laughs> Tig, I'm gonna ask if you. If I have to anything to do with it. <laughs> Tig is a pass worn to fucking <laughs> Clinically in in uh, in Wales for their independence. Well, look, the heart says Wales, uh, right. but a part of my head says Wales as well because I think it's Bale's swan song. Well, they you could know. beat USA and Iran on any day. They could. I think they'll come out of the group. I think England will will piss the group. Yeah. And I think yeah. I could see Wales coming second. I certainly hope they do. I and hope they uh, do too, yeah. I think Iran, from the little bit that I've been reading, I'd be lying if I said that I was following them intimately. But Iran look like they're a bit of a side as well. They're mm. they're, they're well set up. I think America. America are, are at their weakest for a while apparently they only finished third in their group mm. Canada look like they're they're potentially stronger squad so I'm going to put my my hand on my ass and say England won Wales to Iran to get out the group in third okay so like um, as, I as third as a top place third is player. that still a thing I don't no, think it's it is not. Oh, it's just top two like. gone, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think so. the, the third place team goes into the Europa League <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well that's the second and then if you gag, finish gag, bottom then yeah, yeah. you're playing the Ireland gag. Gag. forever yeah. um, so, so I get to play Ireland in over you're just playing Ireland yeah 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 Hell, <laughs> just yeah, to pick, yeah. just to pick yourself up. Um, Keith Andrews. Yeah, you, you'd expect England to kind of cakewalk it, all right? But I think 
they'll be nervous and I would I'd say somebody maybe one or two might get a draw I think Wales because it's like a derby you can't really call it um, the USA the they're always organised and they always kind of perform kind of above expectations yeah. even though it's meant to be a poor USA team so I'm going to go with England and Wales I think yeah, yeah. I just yeah. wish England were playing Wales in the first game I and think you know, Wales could catch them on the hop at the start and the thing yeah. is as well like the weather we can't like the weather is going to pay a yeah. massive so yeah. Iran will be okay in the weather like of the fo- of the of Racist. those four teams well it's a hotter country I would like. say it's racial yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I would say it's kind of more weather-based, <laughs> you know, will than more than anything else. Maybe. Apparently, just, guys, there's the a, a reason why all these migrant workers have, have had to die is because they've put in these cooling uh, technology in the state in the stadia. So apparently, it won't be crazy, crazy hot. Okay. Uh, yeah, some yeah, of I the time. That too, as well. I thought yeah. there was there was a and lot of uh, aircon going on. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. No, well. but I'm not saying it's not a factor, but it just mightn't be as big a factor as we as we as we think. It won't be Mexico 86. And, like. and also, I, I looked up the temperature in Qatar today, and it's about 28 degrees Celsius. 33. I listened to the car on the way up. <laughs> what, what time did you look it up? <laughs> just before we got here. Okay, talking, well, when I looked it up earlier on today, it was 28. Yeah, so. it was 33 when I listened to it. Yeah, but it's night time yeah, now in Australia. What time is it there? So, <laughs> good night, everyone in Australia. Again, podcasting, you listen to whenever you want. <laughs> yeah, whenever. They're not, okay, they don't okay, have okay. to be live. Live streaming, yeah. We're all going so... <laughs> <laughs> England and Wales, I think we're all firm on that. Um, okay, so group... Well, I haven't had... <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 But, but Sorry, England and Wales together. Oh, nice. I'm delighted that you're all from Wales. The thing is... Uh, England, just to talk about them, they're they're not going to get as far as they did in the Euros. We'll get to that later. Let's talk about England. Actually. I agree. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, I agree. Well, are we, get, are we getting England out of the way? So, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Jesus, yeah, yeah. To, to, to set your stall out with Harry Maguire right in the middle of your defence, somebody who's not getting his game regularly for Man United and somebody who looks shot of confidence is mm-hmm. a massive risk Are from they Southgate. starting him, though? I believe That's they the will. Vibe. I think oh, they will. I'd be yeah, yeah, yeah. shocked. So who are they going to start in, instead of him? Um, well, the, you've Stones is, is probably the shoe in for City. Probably. He's, and then the um, it, White, the, is it the Arsenal guy? They're top Racist. of the league. No. No, no. <laughs> Ben White. Just be careful. Oh, sorry, Ben White. Just be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, That's fine. Yeah. And... Yeah, who else? Well, I, I, Dan I, I, Brown. I think. Oh, no, sorry. sorry. Yeah, yeah. I no, think great author, author, though. <laughs> they might be going with five at the back. Yeah. Is the word on the street, which would mean Maguire would be oh, in I, there. Yeah, so they, what would they do? Walker and once. Oh, and Trippier as well. He'd probably, probably be the wing. They well, didn't in the three at the back in one of their friendlies. Did they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Sure, who fucking knows? Yeah. But if they start mm. Maguire, they'll be, I, think, I would say they could be out in the group. They'll be in trouble. Yeah. And, I, and I mean, he's. I fancy myself Southgate, against Maguire myself. Southgate is bringing Calvin Phillips along as well. Somebody who hasn't played. Hasn't played a lot. No. Jack Grealish um, isn't, isn't performing. Kane is playing well. Yeah. Right? yeah, I think the heat might get to them. I, think I also yeah. think Gates psychologically, do you think so? Has passed. I just yeah. Yeah. He had a nice little bit of a buzz behind him, and now he's probably at yeah. home wrapped. And, and, and also, also cheap wrapped in the last with they have, days. which which the English will will crack under the pressure because suddenly yeah. it was like, holy shit! Now we're expected to get to the yeah. Yeah. stages yeah. and get to the final, and we're not able to deal yeah. with that is level of pressure. Home, I think so. Yeah. I think it's coming home in a bad way. Yeah. Good. <laughs> coming home in a bag. Uh, on England, I think one of the, the most it's kind of reincarnated. One of the most kind of stale tactics uh, uh, that I've heard about England is like uh, they had the waistcoats for the last one, and I just saw the photo there. It's waistcoats again, like you know. So I just can't see. <laughs> it's it's just how it moved on all like, over you know? it. Makes yeah. sense. What a waste of coats. <laughs> like. yeah. um, but yeah, I, I, <laughs> they won't. I, do, I think uh, they are brilliant up front, clinical fin- finishers. The midfield, they've kind of game. You know, you've Rice. They'd, they'd be Boo. good defensively uh, midfield, but they don't have like. methodical, but they don't have that kind of leader or creative players, and they could be a bit dodgy at the back. And the goalkeeper as well is they're Take they're course. kind of untested. They've the Newcastle guy Pope, who's playing well, but like none of them have been have but been I, in that kind of pressure. Like, like Pickford, yeah, yeah, I think another boo boo there. Pickford is a liability. Yeah. He's a liability. Well, like, and no, Connie's a great shot stopper, but he's, 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 and I love Hart, but he's another Hart. <laughs> like, Hart has one phenomenal boo boo in him every game. You know, he's always played Ian well Hart. in big tournaments. <laughs> I you wish. Know. Anyway, That's a gag. We'll, 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 yeah. we'll move on because we've got a lot of nah, groups to go through. You're fine. Group um. C Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Poland, uh, Sully. Um, I will go for uh, Argentina and Mexico on this. Okay. Um, obviously, Argentina. Um, you'd expect them to top the group. Um, Mexico, I think, they usually kind of kind of galvanise quite well in yeah. in big tournaments. They always get out of the group. Um, Poland are kind of Lewandowski. They could. It's probably between Poland and Mexico for the second, for the second place. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I will echo your your uh, prediction. I think Argentina and Mexico. I actually, I'm with my talk about this later on. Anyway, when we do with the question, Argentina are going to be my. Um, 
my shout for the tournament. Mm. I think mm. uh, I think it could be a messy tournament this season. Yeah. Like, you know, it's yeah, yeah. Like I'd love especially to watch. especially yeah. you now with all because if you go back, we were talking about Ronaldo in the last episode, like how he's tarnished his career. But if you go back three years ago, everyone was saying, "Oh, Ronaldo's done it. He's done it. He's done it. You know, he's done it in Spain. He's done it in Italy. And now he's back again." But like. If Messi wins the World Cup, I think it's written in, in stone that he's mm. he let me lay, he's he's the, the best player of this generation. But anyway, that's who I go for. What what about yourself, Dan? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with you guys as well. I'm gonna go with Argentina and Mexico to get out of the group. Saudi Arabia to be the whipping boys. I feel I feel sad for Poland because I think Poland have kind of had their day. Yeah. Lewandowski isn't the player he once was. No. He was the kind of you know the talisman, and he he's not really. He's he's kind of past it, which is yeah. which is sad, but it's an inevitable. Um, I also want to echo you, Con. I think Argentina are going to go all the way. Oh, either I think that as well. Either no? to mm. the yeah, well, he said it before. Yeah. I did. We can all say it, I suppose. But well, well I, I'm not just going to say either, Brazil. Either so. all the way. Yeah. Like we're playing FIFA after this, and I'd love us to be you and I to be, to be Argentina. Oh, right. oh, who, yeah, we can why happen. are you assuming uh, we can be together? No, it will be me and Sully against you. Why are you assuming it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I I I think they'll either win it all or they'll get to the final. Um. I yeah. don't always agree with Don, but I uh, totally agree with him there. And yeah. I also say um, Poland were kind of scabby enough in qualification as well. It's mm. kind of pumped it up to Lewandowski. They're an aging team. And Mexico, if you look back in history, they always, always get out of the group. And climate, again, is going to help. The, yeah. like, it's going to hinder yeah. the likes of Poland and help the likes of Mexico. Yeah, yeah. So I go Argentina um, 1, Mexico 2 there. Like, just my quick two cents in Argentina on, is, yeah. uh, uh, like, they're up you front, time, right? up front great. Well, no, you, you brought up a book. True, true. Way, so, yeah, I'm just gonna true. Like, so they will go far, I think. Um, they've won the, the Copa America. But, like, maybe they're... I, I didn't recognise a lot of their midfield players, but maybe... I knew him, yeah. No, I you know, so I like, knows him personally. Yeah. No, it's in like... Well, so you like know, we that, play with them on FIFA, so you should know them as well. <laughs> but what, what I'm saying is that, like, we're... we're oh, I do the subs, yeah. Is, yeah. is uh, they're strong at the back. <laughs> Don't they have that fella? That's do do they have enough in midfield? Is, that's my question. Or do yeah. do do I don't know enough about them in midfield. Yeah. But uh, time yeah. to tell. I suppose. Time to tell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Go on, Con. Keep okay. it going, but so group four or group D: Denmark, Tunisia, France, Australia. I'll I'll start this one. All right. France. I don't really know. Like I, I mean, like I don't know anything about Tunisia and Australia, so I'd probably say Denmark. But like Tunisia, I don't know anything about them. They could be a great African side. Nah, like. they're shit. They're not they're meant shit? to be great. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. 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 So Who's France and Denmark. Being, like, yeah. Who got who Denmark were in our group. They were solid enough, like Denmark. They'd be quite good, yeah, yeah. yeah. In qualifying, yeah. they're a great team, yeah. and they're bringing they, the Nations League. Yeah, yeah. they beat France in the Nations League. Sorry, it's not my turn. No, no, it's grand. So the did teams I'm going for anyway. France and Denmark. I was listening to a journalist yesterday say that France are going through a bit of turmoil at the moment and that they don't have a midfield. But like, I mean, if you just look at their front three, like, I mean, yeah, Griezmann, Mbappe. They're good at the back Benzema. as well. Three Big personalities. Yeah. Up. I, I I'd like to just touch on what Ty said there controversial theory I think France are going to collapse this World Cup I actually I think egos are going to get out of control I think there's going to be some do you remember what happened I don't remember which World Cup it before. was sure. yeah. where there was effectively like a player mutiny against the coach wasn't it 98 was, was that ni- no, no they, they won, won it in 98, 98. Sure 2002 was it 2002 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it often happens so well they actually the capitulated the one before the one they, they won did. as well yeah, exactly. so they're, yeah. they're due a capitulation yeah, yeah, yeah. Think, or a World Cup and yeah. a lot of these players are like well we've won it already you know the, the hunger to win the World Cup won't be there and it will just be a case of the Eagles will get out of control. Yeah. They'll still get out of the group, I the think, because it's, yeah, it's a, not a strong group. So yeah. poor, like, but they yeah. won't go all the way because I think Eagles will get out of control. That's I my prediction. I think Denmark will top that group. Ooh. And I think mm. they'll go all the way to uh, certainly quarters. Ooh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Um, interesting. I think I, they're a good side by... I Yeah, two, I would say two... It's Denmark and France all the way. And I think France are... Uh, they're supposed... The, the young players are coming through are supposed to be good. I, I was reading and like they've the Des- champ as well but they have the kind of previous winners curse as well that like nearly always the, the person the team that's won it previously has done badly but I still if they can get out of the group without too much hassle they might go on a run and I wouldn't write them off oh they could easily yeah. could yeah. they I mean, easily I mean, could yeah. that front three of course you they could. You have a chance yeah. in any game, like you if know. they play for each if other, like yeah, yeah. we just don't know that. But I there's think there's a lot of ifs in this World Cup. It's so it's actually, it's actually so an interesting, interesting one. Yeah, it's yeah. An interesting World yeah, yeah. Cup. I think still think they get out of the group. So I'll go Denmark one, France two. Okay, interesting. I'll go France one, Denmark two, and forget yeah, about the rest. Same, Sorry. same. Uh, one two, France first, Denmark two. Yeah, yeah me too. I yeah. Tigers the 
the black sheep. Oh, surprise, surprise. Racist. That's new. Uh, the African American sheep. Uh, Thank you. Group Mate. E. <laughs> Germany. We've got a I lot think of listeners. It's more in of America. an indigenous person, actually. The oh, indigenous here we go. Uh, First Nation <laughs> sheep. First Nation sheep. <laughs> First Nation Sheep. It's like a fucking <laughs> TV tree presenter. <laughs> well and now we have a First Nation Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Massive overcoat. <laughs> With the weather. Uh, the group E is Germany, Japan, Span, or Spain, and Costa Rica. I think, I think, I think just Spain. Spain. And, and Dom, I'm going to press you uh, for... Your top two in this group. Well, I, I first of all, when I looked at the teams in the group, the first thing that struck me was the geopolitics. I mean, you've got two of the Axis powers in the one group. <laughs> oh, oh, that was oh, the last mate, podcast, he says. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you've also got the former colony of Spain, Costa Rica, Ooh. against its former parent. So yeah, yeah, exactly. That would be a great match to watch, actually. But we did... Be, uh, sorry, no. Yeah, yeah war is over, man. War is over. War is never over. No Bonner just said it. Go you're going to press me. Bono. Merry, Merry me there. Christmas, like war is over. I'm going to go. I, I, I don't actually think Spain are very strong. <laughs> when nothing ever grows. They, ha- they, have, <laughs> they have some talented players. They're nowhere near the golden generation that they wow. had uh, 10 years ago. Um, I'm going to go Germany 1, Spain 2. The Japanese are going to be a decent team as well. They're going to be tough to beat. Technical. They're going to be re- technical. They're going to be resilient. Yeah. Costa Rica. I do. I'm afraid Costa Rica are going to be at bottom of the group. So Germany one, Spain two, uh, Japan three. Okay. I'm going to put Tight. my arse on the table here and I say that because a lot of the Celtic stars can't get in the starting lineup. And I think that's worth noting. Oh, yeah. Are you thinking Japan are going to get out of the group? I think it'll be Germany one. Japan two and Spain to get knocked out in the group stages. Oh, Guys, I'm a risky guy. It's yeah. like, Actually, I, I, it's I like the it. glory days I'm in the Second World War. We're, 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 gonna, we're in complete disagreement for this group now. Whoa! Wow. Uh, Here's think, the argumentative Sully yeah, that was pitched. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I, think, I think the Spaniards are going to do um, quite well. Okay. Um, so, so I would expect them to top the group. I think uh, since uh, Scratchgate, the Germans really haven't <laughs> recovered. Like you know, since uh, a bit, of a, a bit of a low blow there. <laughs> yeah. oh, if you love that with Burton or Bernard Manning, since Jokey, classic. he threw out. <laughs> since uh, <laughs> since the sniff incident, um, <gasps> like uh, so he sniffs a call back. Like I think Spain, um, <laughs> like all their players, like you've a co- they've a lot of young players coming through, and I. S- Funnily enough, I saw Spain Germany uh, during lockdown, and Spain absolutely demolished them. They won five nil, and I thought they were incredible, and just the passing. So I think Spain are going to go far in the tournament. Uh, for me, they might be lacking uh, an out and out striker, but I think for Spain They've Spanish teams, striker, for yeah. Spanish teams, They've it doesn't matter so as much. Enough, Sully, what about so Japan, though? Well, no. Uh, um, Sully, let, me let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. In the main. I think Japan will will be uh, will will ups. They could come second, yeah. So I would go. I'm gonna just just uh, say uh, Spain and Japan. So am oh, I, yeah. Am I, the am Germans I, get knocked out in the group. Am I right yeah. in saying that this is this is the most interesting group so far that we've discussed? So far, in terms like of yeah. it's the most interesting group in, of all the groups. Okay, but so yeah. far, okay. definitely. Okay. I'm literally just asking this. I don't know the answer. Has Germany have Germany ever been knocked out in a group stage of a major so. tournament? I don't think so. I can't uh, recall. I feel it, like yeah. they have. I feel well, like they, they may have, have recently have enough. Yeah. Did something yeah, happen yeah, yeah. recently enough? Maybe was it in the I Euros? Euros? I think it was. Euros, might have even been Google in. Google it there. Google uh, it. How, did they Google get it there how far did they get in the Euros? No, we're talking about the World Cup, though. I know, but, uh, I know, but it doesn't yeah, matter. yeah, yeah, like, just out of kind a group of stage, like, is it? Yeah. I, just, I, I almost can't. feel like at the last tournament, or, or yeah. very yeah. recently, they didn't get out of the group Maybe stages, the round and it was a disaster. It was the last Euros, wasn't it? Or they well, maybe got knocked out in the second round, was it? Funnily, can't in, remember, no. in the German na- with the German it was only national last year, team, like. if they underperform, the German national team tends to get rid of the players as opposed to the manager. Yeah, so Jurgen yeah. Lowe kept his job, and it was like, right, let's get rid of Mats Hummels and Jerome yeah. Boateng and all those. But guys. was it a group stage? <laughs> I think it was a group Boateng. stage. I believe it's Watting. I must look at that later. They didn't, right. uh, I, don't I don't think they got out of the group. Like Th- Thomas Muller is actually in the squad as well. Yeah, I know. But he's like, well, good though. He's still talk, effective. Talking yeah. about not having any out and out striker, yeah, Germany yeah. don't have any front man, and it looks like, like Kai Havertz. He's still very effective, lads. He's, a, yeah. he's a great link man as well. He's still v- even for Munich as well. It's Mueller, it's Mueller time. My, my oh, yuck. Yuck. Mueller. Nothing wrong kind of thing. I think traditionally you can't look beyond the Germans anyway, So and I think they've often gone into 
World Cups like this where they're kind of people don't know about them. Like and World Wars. And World Wars. <laughs> <laughs> give them their due. Give every German their due, as my dad would say. Um, <laughs> oh, fucking oh. hell. Yeah, I've gone to edit that out. That, oh, man. man. Consider that too risky. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to distance myself yeah, yeah. from that I, I, guy I have to pro-Palestinian. I have to distance. Uh, I'm related. I, he's my father. My nieces are... Uh, that's, what, that's the kind of comedy <laughs> I grew up in my, in, in, in my that's house. That's the kind of comedy I grew up in. Like, uh, we were at Bernard Manning gigs every Sunday, like, as a family. We all grew up at that comedy, but... Do we repeat it? Like? Oh! Do you know what? Like, I'm just saying, give every German their due. Like, do you know what I mean? It's just a joke. Will we move on to group F? And I'm also saying. All right, can you? I backed <laughs> back back them to go through. I back Sully to go Goldman through. or Sullivan isn't happy with that one. Not that one. Sorry, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Back off as mob. Go on. Go on. And I'm going to go. go. I don't know the Japs that well or the Cavalry. Two. 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 We're now bordering on two to three minutes in each minute. Well, we. I got a second. You need to go for a Costa Rica I joke as well, no? I don't think referring yeah, so to them oh, as... I, I might have a coffee there, so in a minute. <laughs> well, you can throw it out. Maybe Jaffs is okay. I, I, I had a coffee joke I as well. I think it's Don't think so, man. Yeah, yeah. Really? yeah, yeah. Well, I fucking didn't know. Actually, yeah. I, I, I'm... I think it's ridiculous. I'm, uh, Sully's an authority here. Oh, no, no. I'm Sully actually... Lives with a Japanese I'm living man. with a Ask Japanese him. guy at the Ask moment. You. And yeah. I'm actually going to walk out this podcast because my nieces are half Jewish as well. So, man... My nieces... My my nieces are... um. Half Jewish. I wonder, can yeah. you be half, half Jewish? Jewish? So I mean, either you're pregnant or you're not. <laughs> so I know. But if you do walk out, though, I'm walking out, man. Yeah, yeah. The keep the gear. Keep the gear, keep the gear man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. Sully's football, like, and he's going yeah, 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 yeah. 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 there. And like, I've, I've got, I've got morals that I got to stick with, like you know. So I'm walking out. If you don't like them, he's got others. No morals. Get out of here, Sully. I'm going Germany, and I'm not going for the Japs. I'm going for the Spanish. Okay. Ouch. Don't blink. Never apologize. Never fucking apologize for. Abbreviate. Well, you could. You could. You I, 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 I wouldn't call him Spanish. I'd call him, you know, lazy Southern Europeans. Like, you know. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! This all has to be edited out. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I'm delighted. I'm fucking. I'm actually. Shy. I'm actually. Uh, I'm only joking. I, I love the Latin people. All right. Okay. Look, Ooh, listen. Ooh, few Latin ladies. Everyone's fair game <laughs> in this podcast. Don't think the uh, Spaniards like to be called Latin either. So I know. Oh, I know. Sorry, go on, <laughs> Con. Go on, Dron. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the Germanics and the the Spans. Surprise! You didn't uh, call right. them Croats, mate. The Croats. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Croats <laughs> and, uh, and the na- Spics. The Nazis. <laughs> Are they, are this all has to go. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. you. <laughs> like the uh, Germans are going to blitzkrieg the group, are they? Oh! <laughs> Please, if you're listening right, to sorry. this and you're yeah. uh, on the Patreon, tell your friends about us. <laughs> uh, get all, them all our queers are over, but, but nobody's going to hear because the uh, the oh, yes, your friends are hissing. Because even, even if you share it on Twitter, or, like nobody's going to see it unless we have the blue ticks. Yeah, so yeah that's we, true. That's we true. Might, we might pay the equity. I'm on your Just to get it out there, I'll go with the Germans just for tradition. <laughs> And I go and go with the Spaniards. Can we please move on. Just because <laughs> <laughs> this you know, group we is had toxic. Them <laughs> we had them out in their war. Our careers okay, are over. Group yeah. F. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> group F has Morocco, Croatia, Belgium, and I'm not making going to make any pedophilia jokes. And oh, uh, Jesus, Canada. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Do you want me to go first? There. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is your turn to go first. Is it? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. um, I. I, I have a problem actually where I would often go with my heart rather than my head. Yeah. You want the my Croats. I want the Croats. Okay. I, I just have weird kind of affinity with them. They always play good football. They punch way above their population. It's sick how good their they are consistently. Yeah. 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 Less, I think. Is Four it? million, about uh, three and a half. I, res- I like that. I have a soft spot for I, them as well. I hope there's no Belgian list. I've always resented Belgium as a country. I think when you're that passive in the middle of Europe, there's something, something seriously up. He was a and bad what bastard. they did in the Congo was, was an effing yeah. disgrace. Yeah. So with that in mind, no, he's right. He's uh, right. He Morocco Surely their players can't be held responsible. <laughs> yeah. well, yeah, you'd be surprised. Like 150 odd years you'd be ago, surprised. At the same time. You'd yeah, be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I, I, Croatia. Bruyne, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, what he did in the Congo was just. <laughs> I'm going to say something controversial here. I think and Canada. Yeah, it's a t- it's a really tough group because apparently mm. Canada are really strong. We have a few. They have a few players Alfonso that we know. Alfonso Davies. Yeah. yeah. Um, but having said all that, I'll go Croatia top the group, and actually I'm going to go. I'm going to controversially <coughs> go Morocco second. Okay. Ooh. Croatia. Oh, wow. I think Belgium. The fact that he didn't mention Morocco you, at no, all. No, because well, no, Morocco one of the f- one of the fancied African teams. Okay. They're really, really tidy side. And I think this is the going to be the tournament. Unlike the France thing there, the Donna thing, I think Belgium are going to be the team that shit themselves in right. this World Cup. Because it's the last hurrah. 
a lot of pressure on him. I golden think they're generation. just golden generation. You I think they're going to go out. Late twenties. Damp yeah. squib. Hazard is late. T- is early thirties. Yeah. I think they're going to go out with a mm. damp squib. That's they've just. Got yeah, they've yeah. got a good goalkeeper. All right. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. And so Tig, you say that wishfully. I think. Yeah. So I love Croats. the Belgians. <laughs> Sorry. Can you say Croats? <laughs> Croats. You can. You, you can. can yeah. Croats. Yeah. Uh, Croats. Oh. Sorry. I'd like to say that I don't love the Belgians there, just in case there's Belgians. So they'd be in bed. Moroccans, you're going for. Oh mate. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can say Moroccans. No, 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 that's fine. Yeah, oh no, you can say Moroccans all, all day. Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> I'm just abbreviating. Let's, I got killed uh, for abbreviating yeah. you know, a minute ago. Sully, um, I will. I think uh, the the Croatian, the, the the Slavs always do well in tournaments. They'll be organised, and they sp- suppose you have younger players coming through, and you've the Modric and a. Um, if you were the other kind of long um, established players, so they they will they they will go probably to the quarterfinals, hopefully or maybe further. Mm. Um, I will go with. Pillaged and brought an African country to their knees. Should they didn't so? Um, oh, that's right. No, 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 no. Sorry. Uh, uh, not that we know of. Oh, um, yeah, good yeah, answer. Yeah, sorry. Um, but uh, I would say I think Belgium. No, Belgium will just mm. they'll they'll have too much for the other teams. But I I agree that they're. They're probably, you know, on mm. their... It's going to be a kind of a hazardous tournament for them. Oh! oh you're looking... That was really bad, no. I know. Um, no, you're, so you're like, just hit. And you're I just think tired. Belgium, pun, Belgium have never been kind of unified as well. You know, they like the, I've kind of a theory... You know, the theory is they have different languages within the country. It's, 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 not a, it's not a unified kind of kind of country in the same way, you know, they, they all kind of galvanise, you know, they've never seemed to kind of performed in, in, in the big tournaments despite loads of talent. 86, so. they did all right in 86. Um, yeah, well, yeah. like, yeah. like in, in recent memory, you know. Yeah, like or was it yeah. the semi? Actually, yeah. maybe it was the semi. Sorry, uh, yeah. was it the semi or the quarter? They did yeah. well yeah. in that one. Like, that was a well, long time ago. Well, yeah. like say this generation players, they've all been at the top clubs in Europe, and they've they, you know, they're they're too many stars, and and they don't won't play as a team. But I still think they'll get out of the group, and with? they might with uh, Croatia. Yeah, I okay. would go Croatia one, Belgium two. Like, and how long have they been like? Everyone's like, oh, they're yeah, going to win yeah. a tournament. It's going on a decade a now. Decade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they are, they are at the back end. So and they yeah, have the experience. They could, they could, they but, could. But I, they are aging as well. Yeah. I yeah, think yeah, I also gas. agree. I think Croatia yeah. and Belgium would be my top two as well. Yeah. Um, and I think you know, like, like watch out for the Moroccans, folks. I I don't know anything yeah. about Moroccan, the Moroccans or the Canadians. I know Alfonso Davies. He knows, right, he knows a bit about the old Moroccan. No. Oh, nice oh, one, son. Moroccan <laughs> flash. <laughs> this <Hey. laughs> <laughs> this was a mistake. Do you know what, actually? <laughs> but it's okay to talk about it. Com- it. Just yeah, talk about <laughs> stereo, <laughs> ethnic stereotypes. I think Bernard Manning is somehow <laughs> at the table. <laughs> I'm just going to say, actually, I'm going to cha- I'm, I'm going to give. Mar- I forgot, like, like it's like a tip of the hat to to the Moroccans for the hash. So I'm going to go for the Moroccan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to oh, go Jesus. for Croatia and Morocco. Christ. I've changed my mind. Dom, did you give us? Uh, a I haven't yet. Jingo. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep it uh, concise. We'll go. We'll go. Belgium one, Croatia two, and. Uh, Morocco to be close but not to get through. Okay. You think Belgium are going to top that group? Okay. I do. I do. Okay. Well, the next two groups, the last Bottle two groups. in the in the knockouts. The, the last two groups are, I think, are the two most competitive groups. Would you groups describe them as juicy? Well, w- you definitely consider. <laughs> I think this one is the group of death. Nice. <laughs> Switzerland. Con. Cameroon. <laughs> There's nearly 4,000 dead migrants. I'd argue that every group in this World Cup is the group of death. Oh. Ooh. That's the sound like for this yeah, particular nice, nice, podcast. Nice, not. Yeah. Not, yeah. my, not my juicy line, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, his was very. Yeah, well, no, I, I'd, I'd give it to the, I'd, I'd yeah. have to give it to Tiger. Light like and juicy. We're, we're making. Li- <laughs> we're <laughs> or dark. Switzerland. <laughs> we're making light of. Uh, yeah. No, dead. we're not actually so, but I'm not. Be yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, we're yeah. looking only time. Dive we're nearly there. Yeah, yeah. Switzerland, Cameroon, Brazil, and my dark horses for the tournament. Serbia. Yeah. Can I start in this group? Yes. I I just love Cameroon at tournaments. Mm. I I get I've a I've a warm place in my heart for the Cameroon. Roger Mill at tour- exactly at the tournaments. And weren't they messing around with their sleeves in one of the World Cups as yeah. well? Yeah, that was our World Cup in England. Was it? Two thousand two. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and they always have a dance when they score. They always they're, bring. They're a actually a great yeah. team. They're yeah. a great yeah. team. They play very well together as a team. And that that like. Unlike, we'll say someone, someone like Senegal, who don't tend to, to gel very well as a team. Yeah, I think the Cameroonians do. Um, that could have to be old, the old French kind of lingering thing with, with the Senegalese, maybe. It could be. You know? Although Cameroon was also a French colony. Was it? It was. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's my um, there now, I'm going to go Brazil to top the group. Okay. I think Brazil will be quite strong this year. They have a quite a good blend of youth and experience. Mm. I think Neymar will 
will kind of take the team by the scruff of the neck and, and lead it. He won't be as tired as he normally is when it comes to international tournaments because he tends to play better in the earlier half of the season in terms of his output. I like to see assists. him do well anyway. He's 30 well, now. Like. He is 30. He's, he's not the most likable of guys. He mm. seems to be quite unpleasant. Um, but <coughs> he's a good player. I think Brazil will do very well. They've got a they've got a good blend of youth and experience. They've got some good young players coming through as well. I watched day? Serbia play against Ireland. I think the three of us were at that game, weren't we? We watched Serbia play. They didn't look great. To I be think we, I, I think yeah. I just they, think they, Ireland wouldn't make many teams look no, great. Really, like, no, no. And, yeah. and if Serbia didn't look great against Ireland, mm. I I don't think they're they're any great shakes. I don't think they have too many superb players. I think they might have one or two players who would be kind of at the elite level in I Europe. they've got two world-class strikers. Well, Mitrovic. Mitrovic. Mitrovic yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. Juventus I, striker, uh, Jalovic. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily like say Mitrovic is world-class. Well, well he's, he's for, scoring cl- for country, though. He's scoring league, regularly. Yeah, yeah but he's... just the, the most established and, and... And he's sensational for country. He's that type yeah. of, you know... And, and they have... Memphis. Who is it? Mihailovic Savic as well. The, is he the Lazio central midfielder? Yeah. And they're good, but they're not They're not great. So so who's who's your who's your anyway, top? Brazil? I'll, I'll go Brazil to top the group. Serbia will get out of the group. Cameroon will endear themselves to the fans and will have a good tournament, but they won't get out of the group. Okay. And Switzerland will be a solid side. They'll be dull. They'll be functional. They'll lose by only a couple of goals in each game, but they won't get out of the group. Okay, it's a tough group because if you remember Switzerland were sensational in the last tournament yeah. so it's hard to, to I think to this is the group of death like. yeah I think Con, I, I think it's fair to say all the groups are groups oh, of death oh here we go oh here we go oh when I say it he's looking for the sound bite <laughs> um, no but I think as much as I really dislike the guy as a guy I think it's Neymar's tournament actually because really? I do because I think he'd be going into it absolutely totally oblivious to the morality side yeah, of it. Yeah. He's the kind of guy who's like, fuck this, He'll this be doing is my step tournament. Overs, like, yeah, he won't give it shit. I don't, <laughs> I don't think those migrant workers will be in any way hindering his performance. Yeah. Um, and I do feel he'll feel like that Ronaldo and Messi are kind of coming down the hill now and this is his time to And shine. he also plays for a team that is owned by Qatar. Yeah, yeah. So he has even more reason to turn it on. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be a good tournament for Brazil. I could see I easily see them winning it. I just have a sneaking feeling that it's an Argentinian or I think could see hot I could see the Dutch in the final losing the final and I could see the Nether or Argentina winning. But anyway, Brazil won and I think Serbia are better than Dom thinks. I do too. They're my dark they beat the tournament, yeah. Portugal twice in yeah. qualifying and they look very strong in the second game. I just didn't like them. I think they will finish yeah. I love second. It. And I think they will do well. I think I could see them getting to the quarters anyway. So Cameroon to, to, to miss out. I'm afraid and so. And, so, and Switzerland, I mean, fuck, it's a brave man to say that. Switzerland team are going to come fourth when they... I, didn't they beat France, I think, in the last yeah. Euros? It's gas. Like, Cameroon and Switzerland could... Well, like, yeah. They could get out of another group. I yeah. can't... I can't. Sully, so what do you think? Um, yeah, you, you'd have to go with uh, Brazil, really. And it, they probably... Uh, I'd love to see a South American team win it. It would be great. They're the two favourites, Brazil yeah. and Argentina. So... Um, are they the favourites? Uh, like, yeah, they're the two. They're favorites. Sully's favourites. No, uh, like, well, Paddy Four or sorry, the Who's bookies. Uh, the bookies have <laughs> favourites. So, like, um, yeah, it's super competitive. I always uh, like Serbia, like Croatia. They always perform well in tournaments as well. Mm. Like, they're always. It's going to be very tough between them and Switzerland, probably, um, to because Switzerland have been solid and they've, you know, Iman Jaka for from Arsenal. He's having a great he's, season. He's having a good season. So, um, like, Shikiri, Shikiri. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, it's going to be. It could be like Brazil would just want to be a little bit careful, you know, because like yeah. they could get a couple of draws and they could find themselves in trouble. But, but like if they, get, I, I would hopefully I would like to see Brazil go all the way. I'm not a huge fan of Neymar, but I, I like you know the tradition of Brazil. You know his attitude. Yeah, but I'd like to see the Brazilian. Who's your second um, team? Um, uh, I will go with um, I suppose Serbia. Just just to, well, no, you know what? I'll I'll I'll, I'll go with. Um, uh, Switzerland, but uh, Switzerland. I, I, Switzerland. I think Brazil are going. Will go all the way. They've enough. Your man Ant, Anthony from Man United. He Anthony, looks yeah. really exciting. Anthony, 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 Anthony. and uh, all right, Anthony Kid. Uh, Casemiro. They they just yes. so much, so much. All right, Neymar. So much up front. As long as Neymar doesn't kind of start throwing his toys out of the pram and they get a bit of team spirit, they, so they'll definitely go far. Brazil, yeah. Switzerland. Brazil, yeah. Serbia. Brazil, Serbia. Serbia. Yeah. I also will go Brazil Serbia and yeah. I do think I actually I think Serbia are going to have a good say in the tournament in general. Yeah. I think mm. they've got two good strikers. It's it's really hard to call this. And it is but it's a hard second place team, yeah. Play for each other. And they play for each yeah. other. Yeah. And there's you know any team any any country that has had a bit of conflict I always think it, it 
definitely gels them a bit. What about Scotty Ireland? Smith are always like you'd never back them. Like yeah. why are Chips Ireland so poor then? Ah, stop. Ah, well, we were good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Northern Ireland are fucking punching well above their weight at the moment. Will like. Griggs on fire? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Last group. Uruguay, South Korea. We've moved on from geopolitics. <laughs> Portugal and Ghana. Right. This Ghana. Is, Ghana. This is probably Antony and Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably an even tougher. It's like throwing group. sausages up. I'll Ghana. go first if you want me to go first. Yeah, you're, it's your turn to go first. Can I see the four teams? Uruguay. Uruguay. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh <laughs> is this podcast <laughs> go, ever going to be released? Bases, so, are you? As an insane, <laughs> this like, podcast is brought to you by Bernard yeah, yeah. Manning. South so, so Korea and Portugal <laughs> and Ghana. John I. Um, the Homer Simpson joke You are gay Sorry once more so um, It's <laughs> Portugal Ghana Oh yeah um, South, Korea. South Korea I'm going to put my Penis where my ass is Okay <laughs> He's got a very large ass Thank you man <laughs> Thank you Thanks for noticing I think Portugal are going to get Knocked out in the group Ooh. Yeah, because I think Ronaldo it's, drama It's going to be Ronaldo drama again yeah. It's going to be He's going in, in In his head It's fuck Portugal yeah. It's like They all said that I was a cocky I'm gonna win this World yeah. Cup for me, and he's gonna, he's gonna be, you know, the actor who's just ahead of his fucking lines. He's too much in it. He's gonna lose the head. And Portugal for two years look a better side without him. They have an incredible squad. Great squad. Oh, Great do. squad. Yeah, but I think w- they actually potentially have nearly the best squad going into the World Cup. Uh, the World Cup. I think he's such a distraction, though. Yeah. He's but such a, at this point now. It's like United. It's like Man United. Yeah. He's just such a distraction at this point. I think he'll, they'll fluff their lines, and I am backing Uruguay and Ghana, and who else? South Korea. Korea. South Korea. Uh, Uruguay and South Korea to get out of the group. It's going to be a good Asian team tournament as well, in my opinion. That's I think ja- Japan and South Korea will get out of their groups. Okay. Sully? Um, yeah, I, it's with Portugal, it's hard to call. Like, if the Portugal manager is ruthless with Ronaldo, they do really have a, a, a strong squad. Like, they've at the back and, you know, mm. a lot of skill. And um, so... They won't yeah. leave them out, though. I think Portugal... They can't. They, Portugal will, will get... You could have a, a side pan situation with Portugal, so it could backfire big time for them. Um, but I still think they have so many good players, you know, that they should have enough to get through. And through um, I don't know enough about Ghana. Obviously, South Korea have Son as well, you know, the Tottenham player. Oh. Um, so I'm going to go with... Is, um, he, is he fit? Is he healthy? He's declared fit anyway. Is he? Okay, he's, yeah. He... he it fractured his eye socket, but like he's just adamant that he's going and they put him into yeah, the squad. He's um, probably wear one of them masks, you know. Phantom yeah. of the Opera I, I can't style. remember now. Like, did I? I have no African team to get through actually. Um, but like, I uh, maybe did I, I? I'd Senegal in the first because um, they are the best. They're the the the, the, yeah. the, the, the uh, African Cup of Nations champions. Senate, so well. I think the, like Portugal will be, or I'd say you can almost guarantee it'll be a soap opera of some kind. Yeah. But I think they have enough good players that they they will do something in the tournament. Yeah. I'm I'm Portugal and Uruguay. Um, oh, I forgot about Uruguay. Yeah. Oh my oh, god, <laughs> and yeah, they're yeah. looking very good. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, they're uh, very solid as well. Yeah, they 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 had a good Copa America. Yeah, Suarez, Suarez experience. Swan song as well. Yeah, like, Cavani. You can Look, see him having yeah. a real Cavani bite well. off the cherry. Um, oh, not for that. Um, no. wow. Yeah, yeah. Pearls before swine. Oh, jeez. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'm a reader. Just, I'm a reader. I'm just. I'm a reader. Theatre of the Oppressed is oh, right. <laughs> I think I think Portugal is going to be a soap opera to echo Sully there. Whether Ronaldo is in the team or out of the team, he's going to cause a problem. There was a, a video recently emerging of um, him and Bruno Fernandes having a bit Soft. of a frosty interaction yeah. in the dressing room. Perfect. Perfect. Same with we don't well. talk Re- about same thing. Bruno. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> so, so Portugal are going to have problems. I think they'll still get out of the group. I'd probably say Uruguay to go with them. But mm. a very interesting group. I think mm. they'll all be tight enough games. It could go know. either way. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah I think Ghana, Ghana always outperform at tournaments as well. I think the they thing, always do very with well. With me, mm. I just don't know anything about Ghana. They could be yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Like, you know? Okay, that brings us to the end of that. I'm going to ask you some quick questions and we'll wrap it up. Quick fire? Ooh. Quick fire. Dominic, who's going to win the World Cup and why? I'm going to go with Argentina. 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 Um, just... They're they're in beautiful form, and I think Messi sees this as his last opportunity to win the the trophy that's eluded him. So he'll he'll carry them. Okay. Same question, Tiger. I actually think Argentina will win it as okay. well. I don't know if this is possible, but I could see a repeat of the seventy four. Was it seventy four, seventy eight, and eighty two against the Dutch finals? Seventy four, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. I could see. Um, I could see a Netherlands Argentina final. I don't know if that's possible, but again, I think this is Messi's. Yeah. I would like that to be the they, final purely um, for nostalgic reasons. I think yeah. they're, on, they're on the same side of the draw, I think. Or so they, they could meet in the semi, I think. Right. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. It's still yeah. be epic. Yeah. Go on. 
What were you going to say, so who, 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 your oh, yeah, question? Did, did you, I'll yeah, go I with did. Argentina. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, just to be, I'm going to go with a Spain-Brazil final. And, Sully loves um, the Latins. Then I'm going to go maybe Brazil to win it. And I'd, I'd say Spain might knock out Argentina. I, I'm just going out on a limb here. Spain to knock out Argentina. And then uh, England quarterfinals. And um, semi. the other semi would be maybe a surprise packet. Denmark. Uh, yeah, Denmark. Oh, they're on the other Republic side. Like in England are on the really hard side of the draw, actually. Yeah. No, anyway, yeah. So who who are you going to, to win? Uh, Brazil. Uh, Brazil. 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 But I think if Denmark win their, say if Denmark win their group, that's who England play. If England win their mm. group, I think. So like, or, 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 or sorry, um, if, if if they come second, if they come second, yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. I am gonna I'm gonna echo Tiger Dam with Argentina. I think it's uh, I think they're gonna win. But I but I also think. A plethora of teams could win it. It's, yeah. it's kind of wide open. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, I, I want. I would love Argentina to win because I, I think it would. I think Messi has been underappreciated in the last couple of years for what he's done. Particularly, like his numbers have been unbelievable, and he's come back to form this year here as well. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Can I just I make one more quick prediction? I think France will struggle in the group, and they'll come second. Right. Denmark will win the group. And then England will play France in the second round. France will galvanise and hammer England 4 5 nil. That's a prediction. Yeah. This That's also prediction. sounds wishful. <laughs> this is the yeah. next question. Or right. wistful. Yeah. There's six questions. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. uh, before we finish, <laughs> who is going to crash out? Who's going to who's going to be the crash and burn team? The, the wooden spoon team? The team that, we, that, you know, people are going to go, oh, I can't believe it. Dom, let's start with you. There's always I a think, big country that crashes out. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I have two candidates. Okay. I think Portugal might be one of those where they actually thank you. They'll combust and they won't they won't do very well at all. And 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 crashing out for Portugal would be getting out of the group stages but losing after that. Round. Exactly. Okay, so Cuz they're anticipated yeah. to go all the way, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, okay. The other one I really do think France they're they're, they're going to be I just so feel they're going to be mentally weak at this yeah. tournament and if anyone's gonna gonna have a banana skin in the f- in the group the stage, it could be the French. That's my theory. Okay, yeah. Tiger. I agree with Don, but the French group is so poor yeah. that I could see them stumbling through no matter what. <laughs> um, like Australia and who else is it? The Danish and the Tunisians. Tunisia are the worst team in Africa that yeah. qualified, and Australia are piss poor. Yeah, um, I think Portugal, mm-hmm. and I could see Belgium would be the other one that I that I mean that would be a right shock, like, but I could mm-hmm. see Belgium get knocked out in the first round. Thank you, Don. Yeah. Well, we had Dom. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The, so other, I, I, the other Dom. Sorry, yeah, yeah. United fan. Hairless Dom. United fan. Sorry, mate. Hairless Dom. All right, sir. All right, sir. Who's going to crash? Yeah, well, I, do you know who I think will get knocked out? I, I would say Belgium will get knocked out, and Belgium, Belgium or Germany. They're like since crash out there, yeah, yeah. Since since he scratched his balls, you know. <laughs> Telly, like, <laughs> his mam like was onto him and everything. Sully could be onto something there with the Germans. They they might fall apart. Yogi is gone, like so. Lads, come on. The Germans. I'm looking this up. What? I well, don't believe they've ever gotten knocked out. The, the Japs, uh, the Spanish, they're in transition. And Costa Ricans are in the Germans group, right? What turn? <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> did he? Did he? <laughs> he went there again. I yeah. I don't think you can Sorry, say I, Japs. You can't abbreviate. No, I don't think so. Really? Are you? No. J- okay. All right, it's, right. it's literally a derogatory. It's a derogatory it's like term. It's, yeah. term. Because like, it's, it's like us being the mix or something like that. It's yeah, yeah. Expressed from the European, like. Okay. Yeah, like, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll bow to your to your great. <laughs> bow. Here we oh, go again. Oh, <laughs> I'll say sayonara. <laughs> <laughs> what, what tournament do you think they got knocked out in the group? Because I just want to check it. I so it was, was the last Euro just championship. Just last summer, was it? Yeah. Whereas I feel like it was one of the World Cups. It was like I don't know. Would I go and answer? Yeah. I'm going to I'm actually going to echo what you said Sully. 2014 or something World Cup I think I think the team that could crash out did they win that is one? Germany myself okay. um, uh, so Sully I'm going to start this question with you right All right. Uh, we're nearly finished now player player not top scorer player to watch in the tournament player to watch in the tournament oh, uh, like, no, oh yeah player like, to, uh, like as in like who, who's to, who to watch out for in the tournament who you think um, could be, have a great tournament maybe um, maybe uh, G- uh, Jesus, he's uh, Jesus. Jesus. Right. Yeah, I'd yeah. like to thank Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank Jesus for getting me on the podcast. Um, he's been, he's been, he's like, he's been really on form with Arsenal. He's kind of been let off the the leash a bit in um, uh, com- com- coming out, coming away from Man City, and he's kind of one of the main men there. So um, he's uh, like, as someone who mightn't be uh, big on the radar, but he could have a great tournament. Yeah. Um, 
I, the one thing is uh, the Argentinians there was a young United player Garnacho, which who I thought they were going to get in the squad and he would have been my guy to watch I th- he's kind of like a bit of a cross between Michael Owen Messi but he they haven't picked him so um, he would have been my one to watch um, so tough who, one no I, 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 haven't, gonna, I hadn't thought about that one actually yeah. you, who, nail, your, nail your colours to the mass who, who are you going to say, say if, like, he can be established it doesn't matter like Oh, as, as in like not top scorer uh, like just a um, player to watch that you think is going to have an influential tournament um, he can be an established player he doesn't have to be a new player or anything like that yeah yeah maybe maybe uh, 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 Jesus or Anthony for Brazil yeah. Anthony Anthony, Anthony. 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 Uh, I'm going to go Dustan Valahovic. I don't know if I can pronounce it. Do you know the, 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 the Serbian striker? He plays with Juventus. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah. He was with Fiorentina there last season, or the season before last. He's your quintessential... Like He kind of reminds me of Davar Sucre in terms of his physique. He possibly wouldn't have the finesse now that Sucre has, but he's very, 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 very potent. And I think if they have a good run, if that team have a good run, and I think they, they could be dark horses, I think he could be a player to watch within the tournament. Dominic. I'm going to give you two. <laughs> good. Two young Spanish midfielders. They're both, I think they're both Barcelona, La Masia products, uh, Pedri and yeah. Gabi. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, both yeah, only yeah. like 19 or something yeah. like that, but Pedro they're they're, they're, great, they're yeah. unbelievable players, and I think this could be where they properly announce themselves in the world stage. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah, exciting. Yeah, it's to get the final looking. It. Tiger. Look, you'll say I'm biased, but um, I fancy a, a serious tournament from Croatia, and they have a right back called Juranovic, who plays with Glasgow Celtic, and he's like really key player for us now for a long time. He gets forward, he bombs up, he's crazy pacey. You could say Juranovic. <laughs> 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 very if pacey. the listeners could see the look Ty gave me there, if only they could see Chilling. it. Very, <laughs> very pacey. Uh, great delivery. I think he'll be in everyone's. He'll be everyone's right back of the tournament, and I could see Croatia going far. Okay. Hashtag not my right back. La- last, or, 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 Michael. Third last question. Um, <laughs> I'm going to start with you, Sully. Sully. Oh. Top scorer. Uh, I suppose I'm going to go with Messi for top scorer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tyke Neymar Dom Great question Glad you asked me that um, Are we Kane? I actually think it might be I Are hate we? to say it But I think it might be Harry Kane Yeah, oh, fuck, I yeah. Hate that you said it. I'm gonna He'll go score a load in the group Very anti-English yeah. bias In this podcast yeah. that stuff, man. Like, I'm going to go Dustin Valhalovic um, Just to However I really, you say really like him as a player. <laughs> and I think, you know, if they, if they get to the quarterfinal, I can see him scoring in, uh, in, every, of the, in every game that Serbia play. Uh, best goalkeeper, Tyke. Um, sorry, they got knocked out in the second round <laughs> to England. England beat them, do you remember? <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. yeah. Johnston. <laughs> how, how, how did they get on the last, last summer, actually? They, they got knocked out. Oh, by England, was yeah, it? Yeah, England. Yeah, oh, yeah. Was, England knocked them out. It was 1-0, was it? 2021, like, well, 2020, like. 2-0. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember. We were, I think, was I with you? We were watching. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, what's the question? Best goalkeeper. <laughs> best goalkeeper. The best goalkeeper I ever saw. Seamus no. O'Connor for Case Smith Celtic <laughs> under 18s. <laughs> he was unplayable he on was, his day. He was actually an Iranian international. Um... <laughs> Best goalkeeper, Jesus, Con, you've caught me on the hopperini there, my friend. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give you my one anyway. I suppose Laurice. I have one. Laris. Laris. Yeah, well, he's the best I've seen in a while, like, you know. <laughs> I'm going to go with Emiliano Martinez, the Argentinian goalkeeper. The Aston Villa. I actually think he's superb. He's Thanks, very, man. very good. I'm going to go Jordan Pickford. I'm going to go Jordan Peterson, Peterson actually. <laughs> <laughs> when, he so goes, uh, when he wipes those tears, he's, stuck, he's all right. Like. So the thing about playing in goal is you just got to stand there. You got to put your hands out. You got to catch the ball. You <laughs> have to catch it. You can't the punch the ball. High, and other times it's going low. And you just need it. There's holes in the net for a reason, but they all come together to create, to block the ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh, uh, I I'll go with um I'll leave no uh, Allison I suppose yeah oh, the um God. Liverpool I know <laughs> I know I know uh, I forgot about like I'm kind of anti Liverpool as well but he's um, fond of a boo boo as well though yeah um is I, he going to start again, over Ederson yeah exactly I, he, I didn't I haven't thought know, about the keeper know. position Let's be honest, we don't know I, what, I don't what, know a, my, what a shame to have two such uh, wonderful goalkeepers I don't know if my whole well, 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 keeper position problem but yeah yeah um I would I'll just go with Ederson because I think um Brazil. Like who's who's Turn the best court. who's the best um, penalty stopper actually? 
I, I actually Here. think it might be Pickford. Is Pickford, is it? Pickford's right. a great penalty stopper. Okay. Um, do you want to change your mind to Pickford? No, no, I'll go with Alisson. You know, I'll right, okay. uneducated guess, yeah. Okay, last question, right? And we're going to wrap up the podcast. And Quick fire. Say, before we go, I just want to say thank you to the three buddies. Oh. I really appreciate Con, it. Con, it's been a pleasure. No, you're fine. It's been long and arduous, but it's been a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, and yeah. I'm going to answer this question first. It's certainly been long. It's yeah, been very yeah. long. It's the, sec- <laughs> the second podcast. It's 10 o'clock. Two for one, like. Fucking yeah. hell. This one has gone on 58 minutes, nearly an hour. The other <laughs> yeah, one was yeah, 45 yeah. minutes. Oh, criminals. Yeah, just w- when men talk about football, like, you know. Just, you know yeah. Yeah. What are they like? I boys know, yeah. will be boys. We've had a great time, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. brilliant. Can deny that. We're, we're, we're well, like... A lot of, yeah. lot, there's been a lot of slurs, a lot of, a lot of things said that weren't meant. Yeah, you yeah. want to say that you regret anything, and that'd be. Well, don't, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, don't, don't apologize. Don't, don't ever apologize. I don't regret anything is, I said is, because is I didn't your, mean, is I didn't your mean new any badness in anything I said. Is your new name uh, Kanye? Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry, Con. I'm, I'm uh, leaving now. Yeah, I'll I never be asked back. That, but I'm going to have a sleep first of all, and I'm going to fucking go <laughs> and wake up in the morning <laughs> and go whoop ass. You're going to go deaf country and here. Player of the tournament. Player of the tournament. Um, and I'm going to start. I'm going to say Lionel Messi. Lionel dancing on the ceiling. Messi. <laughs> I think he is going to be the... This is his tournament. He'll be dancing on the ceiling. That is... People. I, I'm going to have to agree with you, Con. Yeah. It's going to be his tournament, I think. Tournament. It's I a boring think. answer, but it's yeah. what I think is going to be the case. It's also what I think, I'm afraid. Yeah. Same, 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 yeah. Messi, 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 Messi. Yeah. I'm yeah. interested to know that none of you think Ronaldo. I'm surprised. I thought it was he's passed it. He's passed it. Ronaldo. Oh, he's definitely passed it. Yeah, yeah. Back yeah. chat tonight, like. Yeah. Guys, thanks for listening to the podcast. Uh, like, thanks, share, and guys. subscribe. Oh. If, if you want to hear more stuff, come on to my Patreon. I love you. Good, Good night. night, everyone. Patreon.com forward slash Toy Kiki. Good night, those in the Eastern Hemisphere. Thank you very much. Good night, guys. Bye.